I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao, a senior psychiatrist from Hyderabad. A very good morning to you. I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao from the Manas Sarovaram YouTube. <laughs> It's a, really a pleasure to meet all of you through this channel. Today, I would like to introduce to you the modern difficulties which the whole world is facing, especially in our parts of our country, about the impact of lockdown due to Corona-19. Corona-19 is a unique pandemic which to this country and to the world is probably was not seen to this great extent in the last century. And this pandemic, as most of you know, started in December, in November, December 2019 in China, but it took only two, three months to spread across the world. It took only about two to three months when it became the big bugbear pandemic, dangerous to one and all. The rate and the progression of pandemic, as most of you know, is by this time is phenomenal and colossal as well, with a huge psychological, social and economic burden to each one of us. I would like to restrict myself to the mental health issues which has come over because of COVID-19 or Corona infection. As you know, COVID-19 is a name given to the RNA virus belonging to the family of Corona. This virus has uniquely locked down the whole world for a varying period between two to three months. And the first psychological and mental health issues coming out of this COVID infection is that the whole family is locked down in the home and the restrictions of the moment for their day-to-day -day activities and needs, including the occupational needs, has been shut off. Most important, almost all shops have been shut off or restricted for two to three hours except the essential things. It's like a day and night curfew for most for the first two months. This did have an impact. The fear factor of what is going to happen is anybody's guess because very early we did not know the real impact of this virus. Slowly but surely, we are now learning about this virus and some treatment. This virus did cause an increased deaths across the world. In some countries more, for example, in the initial stage, Italy and New York did show a very high mortality for very many reasons. With the real death rates in China, we are not sure, but there also the deaths did occur. And in our country, luckily, it seems to be a low mortality disease. But more than the death, I think the impact of this virus infection and the pandemic is that we are locked down. Lockdown means staying at home with the family members. And in a true sense, this is a positive relation because for the first time, the parents, grandparents and children are living in the room. This probably leads to a new adjustment though, but it also has a positive impact on there that there is an increased human interaction. The parents started spending longer time with the children. The parents started playing with the children indoor games and some intellectual games started noticing the new behaviors 
because for the first time, a lot of parents are staying for longer hours with their wards and the family members. This can be a positive thing. Surely, they were playing a large matter quality time and the impact of positive relationship was there. But then, soon, we started seeing a lot of mental health issues cropping up. The true impact of mental health issues in the short and long term, we really don't know. But what we know is during the lockdown, there is the first thing is an increased anxiety about COVID and its impact. I already told you that there is going to be an imp economic impact because a lot of incomes have gone. The daily wage laborer did lose their income. Initially, there was support from NGOs and the government, but this cannot go on. So the daily wage laborer who came from a lot of other states started migrating to their parent states. This has an impact because they won't return back till the normalcy is established. So, and the daily wage laborers who are, can be an agricultural laborers, who can be other laborers who build in road building, or building workers, the works are impacted definitely. As we go further, what further impacted is, the economic impact is quite huge, which probably cannot be judged by a very superficial head count. But psychologically, economy loses means food lost. And food is not there means worry about the food. So that started the day-to-day -day anxieties. But beyond that, the anxiety of getting a corona infection and what will happen about corona infection. To tell you truthfully, in the initial stage, we did not know what corona is, and what it is likely to be, accepting that it is spreading very fast and it's a pandemic. Soon but slowly, we started noticing that maintaining a distance is important. Keeping a mouth tag so that our infection because corona was coming through the oral channel, that is through the mouth by the droplet infection, or falling on the skin and going inside through the skin. So this necessarily led to a maintaining of a distance, which we are all practicing day to day. The anxieties were such that we used to worry too much. We used to worry about a real problem. We have to stay and we don't know how long we don't know how much we don't know, how long we don't know. And that impact has led to a fairly serious problems as the time progressed. The initial anxiety soon changed to increased obsessive behaviors that we wash too many times than required. Normally, we should wash at least two times. And there was, we were taught about a particular method of washing the hands till the exposed area at least two times. And if you are going out and had a more public interaction with a lot of other people, especially in some professions, you better remove your clothes, have a complete bath when you come outside. Some of the individuals did develop repeated compulsive washing, washing too many times, using the cleanser liquids much more so that some of them started getting skin burns as well. So this is called an increased obsessive compulsive behavior. This was very soon during the early phase of the disease. There are 30 to 40 percent of population have developed depression according to two interesting studies done in our country, which was a multinational study, which goes on to show that this pandemic has a definite mental health issue of causing depression. The depression can be multifold, as you know, and etiologically it can also be due to psychological causes, but ultimately the brain does show neurotransmitter deficiencies or changes in the brain. And this led to the symptoms of loss of appetite, loss of interest in everything, not sleeping properly. But more important in the mental health issues, what I found in my experience in the last four months is that people started taking lightly life. They would sleep at odd hours. They got addicted much more to the internet. They were, the children 
adolescents particularly are more vulnerable for getting addicted to the pub games, internet games, gaming and a host of other internet addictions. This is a very dangerous. There was also currently evidence available that there was an increase in alcohol consumption as measured by the taxes collected in the, both the Telugu states. The huge increase of the volume of consumption of alcohol is an indication that there is an increase of alcohol intake. We don't know about the other addictions as yet, but soon we might get that figure. So this led to change in the lifestyles. The relationship issues should have been positive because of positive interaction, but probably we are not sure about the negative side. What I find is that though the relationship should have improved, the there are details where some negative conflicts and marital issues are just cropping up. Maybe it is multifactorial, but this is surely. The other important things is, especially the vulnerable age group like old age, the loneliness and the loneliness impact on the mental health issues seems to be getting now a prominent phase. Living lonely, living within your community and the stigma attached of worrying about the corona people is really having a negative impact. At this time, I think we should positively aim that we should improve our positive mental health to face this pandemic really positively, try to be dominant and try to take care of all the precautions including distancing and definitely the pandemic has not slowed down. So another few months down the lane, we would definitely have to be practicing the regular lifestyles, sleeping properly, eating properly and doing relaxation technique like meditation, pranayama or yoga asanas as a part of lifestyle and exercising within your home by doing probably treadmill because you can't go out. Wherever it's possible, try to have a minimum interaction within your group of friends. Definitely be in touch on telephone or WhatsApp video calls. Try to maintain a relationship with your friends, relatives, and especially take care of your elders. Pandemic has to be covered. Very soon, I'm going to talk about the long standing impact of the pandemic. Let us all pray that this pandemic and wish, of course, that the pandemic goes away and let us see and minimize the mental health issues related to this pandemic, Corona. Hopefully, I will be meeting you very soon on the depressions and other common mental health issues through the Manas Sarovar YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. I am Dr. G. Prasad Rao. Namaste. Mm -hmm.